Hi, before you click off this video, don't. Okay, now that this video isn't going to be caught by the thing I'm going to tell in this video, I can actually tell it. So if you're a new channel, you may be wondering, just why do I get like one view even though I make literally the same type of videos literally the same way as that guy with 200k subs? Well, if you haven't clicked off yet, good for you, you'll receive lots of useful information. So, look at this video. Nothing much, just some generic game footage and a TTS talking. And sure, this is bad, especially because it has 11 views, and only because I re-watch my own videos and my friend watches them too. But, before I talk about YouTube algorithm, imagine this video with 408,000 views. Now this seems like it. It's just a guy who does those funny little walkie-talkie text-to-speech videos with some cool gaming in background. You see what the problem is. The next thing is about me but will be relevant to you soon, just in case you didn't get over the view bias yet. A few months ago I've been making those little videos called dips. Those are just funny videos where you take an existing video and then rearrange parts to make it sound funny, like, you know, a dialogue and then suddenly the second person starts saying really weird things. So, the YTP community is very small but very passionate. Even the ones on the least popular topic can get 10 views easily. And given a topic like Kurzgesagt, they can just casually get 100 in the long term. They can actually sometimes become self-sustainable, meaning they just consistently keep gaining views, like, let's say two per weeks. Again, this will become useful soon. Given enough luck, you can get up to a few thousand. And while this gives your channel essentially nothing, even the people who subscribe from them will just watch the ips, because YTP community is used to getting thrown around, there's a difference. In those 100-ish view ones, people in the comments usually roast for any unfunny parts, and how it's generally blank. But yet, a very similar YTP got around 1.4 thousand views, and in the comments people have lots of support. They kept saying how underrated this is, it's funny but it got just so much less views compared to other good YTPs. People kept mentioning the funny parts and including timestamps. There were comments with tons of replies and yet, on a very similar one, with very similar jokes and completely different people, nobody liked it. Well, of course it's because you don't see that big number at the corner the whole time. But it's also because friendly comments make people want to leave friendlier comments. Also because YouTube sees what kind of people watch your video and recommend to more people like them. What kind of YTP is it, what also the people that watch this watch? At the end of the day, YouTube wants to make more money, it keeps giving people the kind of videos that make people watch for long times, every day, and then come back to see your new video. Typically, if the video is very good, people will like it, but it's not the general thing that everybody is used to, and, it will become normal soon, for them it's just gonna be your style. Or if it's really good, it becomes predictable. If it's not predictable, they don't know what will actually be in the video, they can't rely on your videos. You need to have videos somewhat good but with annoying part, a sort of curve so they don't click off. It becomes bad, but then it becomes better and it's a positive, they don't think about clicking off. Then they appreciate even tiny things because it's just good again. All this makes them more like brainwashed and less like people. Which brings us to our next point. Generally, when clicking on a video with a smaller amount of views, the person tries to predict what will a good video about this topic be like. If it's any different, well oh, error due to unprofessionalism, waste of my time. But then, if a lot of views, then it goes like this. Well, this is that person's style. Let's see where it leads up to. And surely, you can turn off showing views, but the reaction is going to be around that of a 200 view video. Plus, your people would trust you less. This makes difficulties with formation of a community, but the word is being misused here heavily. So, you basically need to somehow get that subscribe number up. And while sure, the kind people would give you a boost to 10, what then? Well, the best way is to go around YouTube and ask people to check out your channel, subscribe, and watch your videos. And this actually has some roots in psychology. People that are going to click on it are annoyed but not enough to not click, and when they see some good videos it's much better than what they expected. The floor is lower than if you just find it. And no with lower views the floor isn't lower, people just pick out things more. Why? I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. I have an answer but it's rather complex, about 40% chance that it's actually correct and well, mobile typing sucks. I don't have a TTS that can generate audio files on PC, nor a decent editor without watermarks. So yeah. 
The strategy was actually adopted by Russians in like back in like 2016. They are more tolerant due to brainwashing by local governments and just kinda deal with stuff easier. It's also how you can get away with lower quality content over on Russian YouTube. They likely won't even notice a thing wrong if it doesn't keep happening throughout the whole video. We need more channels that actually help people grow. And I volunteer. I'm going to mention names and what that channel actually is about in some of my videos, and if not all of them, probably just because there weren't enough names. Don't write a description yourself, the creator bias applies here. I'll try my best to portray you in good light and use only true facts and concepts, since people won't actually watch your videos if somebody tells them the cool but they're not. The boost arrives at around a week of time, so make sure to make videos during the first week and the initial months while it's still effective. I'll mention names multiple times, especially if a video in which a name is featured does not go up much. And I guess, you can subscribe. No, not because I'm selfish. This way YouTube will recommend more of my videos to people, and increase your chance of name being seen. Oh, I also forgot about the intentional exploitation of the subscribe please comments, speaking of which don't. But it's basically being all anime talk like and saying that the videos aren't that good at all but the people should check out to help you with your depression or something. Also the I have no subscribers, I need one subscriber, please help ones work too. Don't do this on this video. Also please don't like comments with channel names. Also, write out your full channel name, just to keep the system a see up. And lastly, again, just don't do channel descriptions in the comments. You can also subscribe to Ripka Learn English, my channel for Russian people. Anyway, see ya. I'm actually excited for this. I hope it's a success. Probably would still get affected by view bias. But hey, you're here, thank you. You can also reload the page and watch again on 2x speed without sound, so YouTube shows this to people. Also save this video link somewhere and watch tomorrow, maybe you'll remember something you forgot. And, maybe even share this with friends. See ya. Good luck growing your channel. Subscribe for more catch-up review.